Hi, this is Erika from QXP Shop and thank you for joining me here again. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about our shop updates as well as how this day and age, like the last few years, it's been a lot easier for people to start small businesses and just kind of some little advice and stuff like that from what I've learned over the years. So last month in March, we sent out for our next enamel pin, but I I was hoping we were gonna have it here before this video, because what I'm trying to do is every, the beginning of each month is kind of to do a shop update video like this and uh, just sit down and give you guys an update on what's been going on and um, what to, like what's coming new down the pipeline kind of thing. So we're working on a few more hair accessories that are going to be coming up next. Um, trying to add more flags still available in the shop. Um, so we're busy, busy working on a lot of things and new designs and stuff like that. And um, so the next enamel pins that's coming up is it's going to be a Mexican mariachi hat. So I'll insert a photo here so you can see what it looks like. So originally when I reached out to the manufacturer, um, they gave me an estimated date of that I would receive it in, I think it was said the 22nd. But we had a lot of issues going back and forth with, I had to correct like a few things that they were doing. And, and of course, since they're on time for China, they're awake when I'm asleep. So it's like kind of like I had to wait till the next day for his response and he would have to wait for the next day for mine. And so this was taking a little bit longer. But basically, um, so when I sent out the image, I was originally planning for an inch size hat and so I wanted two color choices. So then he sends me back with the proof, uh, everything looked good and I said okay go ahead and start and then they came up with an issue and so they were saying that the the lines that we had for the mariachi had the little gold lines, it was a little bit too complex I guess for that size and so he reduced down the amount of little lines I'll show you in this video here but then I was like no it d that's not what the hat looks like it originally has a lot more lines so he was telling me that the only way that they can do that is to increase the size of the design and so we had to bump it up to the inch and a half and so I was a little hesitant because I really wanted it to be a little bit smaller but he showed me that you know it, it would keep my original design on there but it'll have to grow up to the inch and a half size in order to keep all that detailing which that is the all the gold lines is the metal itself so that's what we needed to stay on there so um then when i went ahead he showed me the the what it looks like and i went ahead and improved it and i've also already designed the backing cards for the mexico and this one we didn't do uh drawn hearts actually flowers for if you can see on top it's going to be this one I actually did actual flowers that are important to the Mexican culture um, and then I've got the flags at the bottom and all that the green color and of course the backing of this and the only change that I did on the backing was where it says follow us it was originally a little bit lower so when the holes when the pin was poked through it was covering this um, so I bumped it up a little bit more and now you can see it a little bit better so if you can see, so if you remember that our last enamel pin that we had was the little pollera girl. I don't know if you can see that with the sunlight out here, but now with it being an inch and a half, it's going to fit basically this size on here. So I'm just showing you as an example, the mariachi hat will sit this big, this wide on the backing card. So when it gets on there, you'll see but can't wait to get it. I was hoping it was going to happen before this video, but it's, like I said, with all the back and forth we were doing, it's not going to be here on time, but I'm hoping it'll be here soon so I can upload it. We'll take photos first, get the listings ready, and then upload it for you all so you can go ahead and shop that for if you love the mariachi hats. So stay tuned for that. So as I had mentioned earlier that there are more opportunities now for people to start their small businesses and, um, one of the companies that I use to do a lot of my printing jobs, so like I have, like I updated my new business cards, so you can see right here and on the back side. And of course, 
my backing cards for the enamel pins. And I've had a few other items too that I've done with them. But this is from Print Runner. I'll list it in the description down below, but so you can go check them out. But there's also, I think there's U-Printing, and there's a few other companies, especially if you are overseas and you're looking for someone. Um, so those, you can print things like this. You can print labels. You can print, like, I don't know, like label tags and stuff like that for your merchandise. And so the other thing that I've noticed is, like, a company like this is one of the things that I'm working on. And I found this. And so I bought a swatches from My Fabric Designs. So they have a bunch of swatches that you can see and test out which fabric you want to get your custom printed um, fabrics. So this is what I'm working on to do some for a few other new hair accessories that I'm working on as well as down the line something else, another project that I'm working on that you'll see there. But um, there's also if you wanted to start like a t-shirt business or something like that there's companies and if you don't have your own heat press and stuff like that, um, you can get Printful. I know there's some other companies out there, I'll list them down below, that you can use to, you design the, the artwork and then you send it to them and they'll print, make the product for you. But I think you can, the way, like if you get Shopify and stuff like that, and I don't know if they do it for Etsy, but um, you can actually have them like put it as a listing and so it'll automatically go and get you know they, I don't know how that works um, I've never done it myself but I've heard you know stuff about it and so basically it's set up as a uh, part of your Shopify website to automatically you know send it to them so that way they can start on the business uh, the, the product the shirt and then send it off to your customer um, the only thing about that is you won't get your branding on the items like you would like to if you do it personally yourself. But it's a way if you don't have the money to get the heat press. Um, if you don't want to do vinyl, you want to be able to do like full color and stuff like that. And also for people who make soaps and stuff like that, you there's a lot of companies out there where you can buy the um, materials, the ingredients, like the mica powders. You can buy um, all the soap ingredients. And so they make it easier for us to be able to get things, but we don't have to buy in such huge bulk, but we can save also by buying in bulk. But before it seemed like in order for you to have your own small business, um, you had to have the money to buy huge amounts or wholesale, you know, uh, account set up. But then there was requirements that they've kind of leaned back on now recently, but before it used to be a lot more that they required. Um, and so that also makes it easier. And also there's more available financing uh, if you have that option for you or um, you can find different ways to earn up that extra money to be able to get the equipment for that you need. There's lasers out there for people now who want to jump into that. Uh, laser cutting machines. Um, and like I said, stuff for t-shirts, soap making, um, hair accessories, a lot of different businesses that are catering to now more of the small business and I think also there are even more companies that are up opening up available uh, availability for you to sell on their platform I know if you're able to uh, pump out a bunch of products quickly and I don't know what else requirements they, they ask for but you can be able to sell on Walmart by applying for their um, reseller program or something like that I'll show you here but uh, I've seen that. I don't know if Target does that too, but you know, you could do selling on Amazon FBA, or you could sell if, uh, join up for the Amazon Handmade and sell on there as well. Um, and there's a lot more platforms that are opening up for other sellers to sell off of there besides Etsy and Amazon. And so uh, if, you don't, if you don't feel ready to have your own website just yet. And also there are a lot more information on YouTube, on Facebook, on other, possibly Instagram as well, I think, where there's more people who are teaching how to sell on those certain platforms and how to become a, a business owner and grow your business and all that. Um, I've joined years ago Flourish. I'll put down in the description also here the link to that. So they've been a big help to me as far as like learning how to do better photography for my products and how to do the SEOs for Etsy, Amazon, well, yeah, with Amazon and all that. 
if you wanted to go check it out without doing the paid subscription, you can check out uh, Make and Flourish. It's by the same group, but this is the, the free version where they give some tips and tricks to people like ask questions and they answer them too. And, but then with Flourish itself, they delve into more of like, and they also have a lot of experts that'll help you when you need the help to grow your business and all that. And so um, if you're looking to join Flourish, you can see my link down below. But careful, careful out there because there's a lot of people who are just doing this to scam because they noticed that this is big like opportunity for them to like say they know what they're doing kind of thing, but they really don't. They just scam people out of money. So be careful on there. I would definitely guarantee that Flourish is not about that. They, I've been with them for years and I've grown my business with a lot of their help. And so I just want to give you that one at least for if you're looking for help with growing your business. You want to have people on your team to help you whenever you have questions or concerns um, there to ask. And then the other thing I've noticed also as far as growing your business, being able to do this now than it was before there's also the social media with social media it's like you got facebook you got instagram you got now TikTok, um and youtube itself you can be on here and create videos if you wanted to do that um there's also if you want to make those little few seconds ones about your business um videos on TikTok that has helped a lot of people tremendously grow um i'm kind of starting on it but not as much as i would like to be i'm still like dipping my toes in there but um i've done the instagram stuff and um also i'm like you see here i'm starting with the youtube so just check it out and see which one will work best for your business um you don't have to do all of them you can pick one or two and then just delve in that with growing also pinterest is very um a good one too as well i've noticed that that does drive a lot of traffic especially if you have beautiful images um People are either looking on there because they want a DIY or they want to look at pretty pictures or they are looking for things to buy for their event party, whatever it is they're looking to do, you know, home decor or something like that. So if you're in that category, you can definitely do that. And that's also the other thing that now with the like silhouette cricket machines, um, I think there's other uh, plotters that you can use to cut things like vinyl. Um, also for other items if you wanted to do like tumblers and things like that. Um, now embroidery machines are becoming a lot more popular for people who want to do embroidery for shirts and baby outfits and stuff like that or just to do like key fobs and whatever else. So there's so many opportunities now for people for people to open up small businesses. You just got to just search it up and look to see what it is you want to do. Narrow down your niche and uh, what is the passion that you have and where do you want to go from here and so if you have any questions you can put it in the comments down below and i'll see if i can answer it for you i've i've seen a few i've come across a few i'm mostly in the hair accessories i've been a little bit into the shirts but i have discontinued that um but i know a lot about the hair accessories and i'm beginning the enamel pin process so um, but we are expanding even more a little bit later so i'll show you more of that as that comes along thank you for sitting here listening to my blabber about like what's been going on lately here in the shop and um my little advice about like growing your own business and if you want to start if you haven't even started yet you know what can you do and what is out there for you available to start that especially um, other companies that are there to help us grow and prosper but thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.